Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Green Life Gardening Home DIY channel. So today I was going to walk through the garden and kind of trying to give you an overview of everything, but the sun just off oh, the way it's shining. Mm. All right, so just want to start right here. I have my sago palms. They're doing really well and growing. Uh, my moringa tree, I'm trying not to get my neighbor over there. Um, it's doing really well. I've got my potato slips that are coming along really good. Everything is nice and green. Strawberry patch, I'm putting out uh, runners. So I'll have more strawberries here soon. Slide on over here. My blueberry uh, bush, I did get it this year. So I wasn't looking for a whole lot, but it do have a few little blueberries on it. Uh, somehow I always forget to update you guys on the little carrot patch right there. <laughs> and uh, that's some rainbow carrots, gro carrots growing. My grapevine is still trellising. Um, I went in and I fertilized with an 888 today. Like I said, I don't normally use those type fertilizers unless I feel like I'm having a problem. Uh, so that's on my trellising squash. I have some flowers here that are growing pretty good. Coleus flowers, pothos, uh, calen calendula, uh, basil, lilies, more um, sago palms. And our little peach tree here is doing good. As you can see, they're starting to get some really good color. Again, I'm trying not to. All right. I know it's kind of the way the sun is shining. So the peach tree is doing well we have lots and lots of blooms on our tomato um, plants all up and through there this one is the um, brandy wine it has lots of blooms and tomatoes getting ready to come on um, that's a piece of one that I broke off I just put it down there in the dirt and it caught uh, this is the cherry tomato get around here and we do have cherry tomatoes that are already coming on the black beauty eggplant is doing really well you can see that it's starting to put on eggplants all right the okra is doing good this is the one that I showed you guys how to solve a pest problem. As you can see, it's doing really well. Uh, another okra plant here, different variety. Then this is another different variety of the um, eggplant, the Japanese variety. I have decided to just kind of let the cabbages stay over here to give the pest something to eat <laughs> in the garden. Rocket tomatoes coming along and this uh, loofah squash as you can see it's hanging all over my trellis there I've got my watermelon here my sugar baby watermelon growing there out of the grow bag I've got these growing out of five gallon pots and they are starting to put on uh, watermelons I seen one just a minute ago Oh, there it is. The watermelons they're starting to put on. Uh, stuck a cucumber in this one that I did not want to throw away. It was starting to dry out on me. The squash that I put in these at the last minute that was trying to go out, they're doing really good now. I had to go ahead and give them a, a good dose of fertilizer. Uh, those are my lavender plants. Kind of some basil and stuck them down there yesterday. Uh, my rosemary is coming along really well. And what every gardener waits for is a harvest. And this will be harvested, if not this evening. Tomorrow it's dark. You can see the stem is nice and dark. I'm going to go ahead and cut it about midways there. And uh, maybe I'll even show you guys a recipe for that. I've got another one growing here. And these are pretty big. I mean, you know, they fit 
in the palm of my hand that's the other plant that I planted that was um, I planted it way later on it's the other um, acorn squash plant and these peas y'all they are above the trellis so I should have plenty of peas because I just spread them out around the garden in different pots because that helps with nitrogen and it did good it was a good thing for some but not so for uh, much for others because those leaves are gigantic and I'm wondering if it's gonna uh, keep my fruit from really putting out the garlic is still hanging in there more lavender uh, aloe gotta have that that was some arugula I planted right there not doing very much more garlic squash plant of course I told you I was letting those go to seed uh, my broccoli rob pepper plant as you can see it is really um, got a lot of peppers kohlrabi still growing and doing well and what's so funny this one I thought was gonna die it was so little at one time it was even snapped almost in half and it made a comeback uh, spaghetti squash winter squash those are getting pretty big those are some big leaves there probably can't tell too much on camera uh, all right, the sweet potatoes, as I told you guys, they were still putting out, and uh, yeah, all right, so let me turn you around here. All right, so I've got my peppers that are still doing really good coming on. Um, this jalapeno I thought was another bell pepper plant, fooled me, it was jalapeno. <laughs> all right, so this is my telegraph. Uh, cucumbers they're the really long skinny cucumbers you can see I've got another one coming on there more uh, peppers this one is loaded uh, cucumbers over here uh, I've got one there that's ready to be harvested probably can't see it too well around there but yeah it's ready bell peppers coming on doing really good I'm gonna take you all over to the other side all right, so we're on the other side. We've got our corn that is just about as tall as me in a little bit. I've got some zucchini here, you can see in there. That one, it's getting bigger. And uh, the corn is filling out here. All right, you guys, so that's pretty much it. My grapevine, my grapes over there, muscadine grapes and other little things, pecan trees and things like that. Oh, let's turn you around here. My sorrel plants are doing really well, so they should be nice little trees here soon. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Just wanted to bring you another update, and I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you are encouraged and inspired, and I will see you on the next video. One love. Moringa. <laughs>